Fractions and Decimals, Take 1. Today we'll be talking about fractions and... Fractions? Can we do that again, please? Fractions and Decimals, Take 2. Today we'll be talking about fractions and decimals. Fractions and decimals take 90. Today we'll be talking about fractions and decimals. <laughs> Remember this place value chart? It's a chart that tells you the value of a digit based on its place. And do you remember for each of those places that their value is 10 times more than the value to the right? So that 100,000 has 10 ten thousandths and so on down the line. But what happens when we get to one? Ten of what are inside of one? Well, remember when we did halves and thirds and fourths and fifths and sixths and sevenths and eighths and ninths? Well, what happens when I have a whole and it's separated into ten equal size pieces? What are those pieces called? If you guess tens, you're correct. So on that place value chart, 10 of what make up 1, 1? If you said 10's here, again, you are correct. So we need to know how to write these 10's. Remember when we had bigger numbers, sometimes we needed a comma to separate some of them. Well, 10's are going to need a new thing called a decimal. It's just a dot that we put between the 1's and the 10's so we know where all the numbers are. So we can write out tenths as one tenth with words. We also know this fraction, one tenth. Now how do we write it with our new decimal friend? That's just going to be a one in the tenths place separated from the ones by a decimal and a zero in the ones place just to keep things pretty. So back to those models. Let's give them a little color. Now let's look at the fraction strip. It has two tenths shaded. We know how to write that as a fraction. We know how to write it with words. And now we know how to write it with a decimal. Looking at the grid, it has three pieces shaded. That's three tenths, and we know new ways to write that. And our fraction circle, five out of ten pieces, five tenths. So what happens when we have a value greater than one? Here we have two grids. They each represent one. If we talk about the shaded parts, we have a whole one and then three tenths of the other. So we can write that as a mixed number, and we can also write that as a decimal with a one in the ones place and a three in the tenths place. Let's look at one more. Terry ate three and five tenths brownies. If we want to write that as a fraction, let's think about how we say it. Three and five tenths. We know that mixed number, three and five tenths. And as a visual, let's look at that on our grids. Okay, so now we know about a decimal and we know about tenths, but ten of what go inside one tenth? You must be dying to know. So let's think about that grid. Well, we're going to have to chop our tenths into ten pieces each. Then we can see we have a hundred equal pieces. So if we just want to know the name of one of those pieces that makes up a tenth, it's called a hundredth. So our new place value is hundredths. So on our place value chart, if you want to know ten of what makes up one tenth, it's ten of those little squares. Ten hundredths make up one tenth. We can write that out, one hundredth. We can write it as a fraction, one over a hundred. And we can write it as a decimal by putting a one in the hundredths place. We have no tenths, so we need that placeholder zero. And then a decimal to separate the tenths from the ones. Let's look at an example. Here we have nine of those little squares shaded. That's nine hundredths. And we can write that with words. We can write it as a fraction. And we can write it as a decimal. Here, 14 pieces are shaded. We write 14 hundredths or we can write the fraction. Now when we write the decimal, we're going to put the one in the tenths place and the four in the hundredths place because we really have a tenth and four hundredths, right? So Josie drank two and seventy-five hundredths liters of water. How do we write that as a decimal? 
Well, how do we say it? We say 2 and 75 hundredths. That's a 2 in the ones place, followed by the decimal and 75. And here is our visual aid. So now you know about these new exciting places, tenths and hundredths, and you can go practice using them.